my name is Heidi, and normally um, you see me at the Holton or the Montague branch of the Muskegon Area District Library, but today I want to welcome you to Make It at Mattel Home Edition. Um, the Muskegon Area District Library normally provides craft classes at the library, but today we get to make something special with you at home. Um, the materials that we will be using today are common items that you can find in your house. Um, and if you don't have exactly what we're making it with today, be creative. There are lots and lots of ways that you can make all of this um, with just items that you can find um, in your house. So today we're making a spring vase. Um, and you can use this vase for flowers as they start to come up because it is spring and we're starting to see some flowers peeking through maybe a little bit. Um, but you could also use it here as I did for markers or pencils. Um, you could use it for your toothbrush if you wanted to, um, all kinds of different ways that you can use it. Um, so you'll make, you can make them out of um, many different types of things. So we'll get into that in a little, in a little while. Um, the idea for this craft came from the book Crafts to Make in the Spring by Kathy Ross. And it can actually be found um, on Hoopla, which is one of our digital resources. So on Hoopla, you can find books, audiobooks, music, movies, um, TV shows, all kinds of great things. Um, and right now, um, this particular book and thousands of others are available without using one of your credits. So it's even it's even better now. So if you um, aren't on Hoopla, don't know anything about it, um, go to our website, mattel.org, and click on the resources page, and you'll be able to find out some more information about Hoopla. So if you need to pause this video at any time, you can do that. Um, you can also go back and watch something over again or watch it now and do the craft later. Um, but to begin, um, we're going to start with the following items. Okay, so the first thing that you need is something to make your vase out of. So that could really be anything. If you go through your recycle bin or after dinner one night, if you have any, any cans left over from any sort of food, if you have a yogurt container, um, I even found this, um, I finished a candle, so you could use that as what you use as your receptacle, something that will hold what you um, would like to put your item in. So it could be really any size. Um, so if you use something like a can, and if you have a little um, plastic cup, you could potentially use that to put inside of it in case you didn't want to put water in it or something like that. Um, you could use a paper or plastic cup, but you don't have to. Um, if you do use a can, just make sure that you don't have any sharp edges or anything like that left on it. Um, you can take the paper, the paper off of it, or you can leave that on. Again, totally up to you. Um, and then you'll need some things to decorate um, that, that item with. So some examples of items um, that we're going to, some of them we'll use today and others you can maybe try at home. If you have any wrapping paper that has um, some spring designs on it or is, is kind of a pretty color, you could use that. Um, if you have any type of stickers at your house, anything that you could, um, anything that you could use, um, different colored paper. The best for spring, but if you have any kind of different color paper that you could use to kind of cut up, um, you could also use tissue paper, different colors of tissue paper if you wanted to. Um, something else um, that I think is a great idea, if you have a coloring book and you're a kid or you're an adult and you color, um, you could take some of the pictures from your coloring book and you could cut out pieces of them or use that um, as part of um, your design on your, on your base, right? Um, also, if you have any type of ribbon, um, you can see I put a little ribbon on there. So any any different types of ribbon that you have, um, you know, lying around your house um, or yarn string, anything like that, you could also use again just to make it a little bit more decorative. Um, and then um, another possibility is I am not the best artist, but if you're a good artist, you could take the construction paper that you have and you could actually draw a picture on your paper before you put it around your, um, before you put it around your vase. So you could use markers, or if you have um, crayons or really colored pencils, anything that you could draw with, um, then you'll probably need a pair of scissors. Um, if you're a kid, make sure that you're, you know, using scissors with your grown-up. Um, maybe your grown-up can help you a little bit. Um, and then you might need some glue 
um, something like that to kind of, and um, maybe some tape um, to kind of decide whatever, again, you have around the house. So look around, be creative. Maybe you could use pictures out of a magazine or you could use pictures from the newspaper or something like that. Really anything that you can think of that you want to decorate, um, decorate it with, you can make them all very unique. So I'm going to do um, an example with you just to kind of show you um, one of the possibilities on how to do it. And then um, you can feel free to do this with me um, or we'd love to see what your creations are, too. And we'll tell you how to show us those um, a little bit later. OK, so I've decided for the example that I'm going to show you, I'm going to use um, a little bit of wrapping paper and a ribbon. So it's going to be kind of simple um, just for um, the sake of the video, but again, there's so many ways that you can that you can make these. Um, so I'm going to take a little piece of wrapping paper that I just cut off of um, my my wrapping paper roll. I'm going to take the can that I'm going to use, and I'm going to cut that paper a little bit less than the height of the can. So I'm going to roll the can around the paper, so I can kind of the paper around the can, so I can kind of see where it is, and I'm going to cut that so that it kind of it all the way around and then I'm going to as I said I'm going to make the paper a little bit less um, the height of the, the paper a little bit less than the height of the can so if you have wrapping paper that actually has um, the lines on the inside that's helpful but if you don't also doesn't really matter so I'm going to cut that to make that straight I'm going to make this one a little bit straight too So something else that I thought of is you could definitely use fabric for this. If you have any kind of, if you're making masks or um, if you have any kind of fabric at your house that you could use, you could also use that um, to, to decorate this. Um, or even an old sock, you could cut the, the toes off of a sock and use that. Um, I think that's the example that they give us in, in the book um, that you can find on Hoopla. So again, all kinds of different ways that you can, that you can make these. So I'm going to go ahead and put this around my can and I'm going to use a little piece of tape to kind of a couple pieces of tape one at the top and one at the bottom now if you don't want to be able to see that tape um, on yours you can roll it and put the tape under or you could use glue um, to, to secure that on there but if you use the, uh, um, the clear tape you can't really see it so, anyway, so this should be okay um, then I'm going to take this ribbon and I'm going to kind of put it around again. I'm going to put this one around the bottom. Um, so I'm going to make a little bow with my um, with my thing here. So again, if you don't have ribbon at your house, you definitely don't need ribbon. You can kind of do it however you want to. And I'm going to kind of secure that down at the bottom here. And then here's another example of a can that you can use. And again, this you could use to keep your scissors in, or again, if you have markers, again, the flowers that you can use um, once those start to come up, um, or really anything that you can think of. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed Make It at Metal Home Edition. Uh, we would love to see the creations that you have come up with. So if you'd like to take a picture and send it um, as a comment um, on our Facebook page, we would love to see those. Um, and make sure that you check back on Facebook regularly for more great virtual programming from the Muskegon Area District Library. And don't forget to check out our website, mattel.org, where you can find um, great resources um, like the book that was mentioned, um, Great Crafts to Make in the Spring, um, that's available on Hoopla. So definitely check that out for some more great craft ideas. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.